And I can add very quickly that I had a detective mm -hmm. uh, do a little bit of work for me, and he turned up the fact that Lockheed Martin has essentially organized stalking harassment networks in 47 states. Oh, wow. Wow. Sorry, everybody. Those people who've maybe fallen asleep, this is like bombshell disclosure again. Yes. We heard it on the Techno Crime Fighters Forum first. Absolutely. Nice and the, the, Karen, Karen yes. can you repeat that very okay. clearly for right. everybody to hear? I had a detective do some limited work for me because of my money situation, and he turned up the fact that Lockheed Martin has uh, a department where they have developed stalking harassment networks in 47 of the 50 states. And the head of that department is William Patrick Cox. Now, in some states, there are home businesses that are undefined. They're called William Patrick Cox Home Business Franchise. I wonder what they do. That is bombshell. That is huge. Bombshell. And you know I what? Think that's that, that warrants a news article all on its all by itself. I think yeah. I, I like think that Karen just shapes these out of her sleeves and the by the what by. Let me just interject <laughs> it here whilst Ramola is searching for those bullet points. Like what, Karen? <laughs> this is like <laughs> it's like wow. Like we didn't know either. You know, this is the joint investigation team where all the investigators go off and just yeah produce these bombshell disclosures for you. You know, <laughs> yeah. wow. I mean. God, that just blows my socks off. And it's like, this is like a WikiLeaks level disclosure here. But also really important because um, people look at this video and have a look again what she said, because it's in 47 states of the 50 states. Okay, so this means that every single person in the US, most likely, can now start investigating by themselves, you know, who owns these companies, because they must be registered in the state company register and can start digging dirt up on them because I tell you a lot, this is the Nazi network. It mm -hmm. sounds like these are the Nazi companies, right? Mm -hmm. um, organizing torture and probably targeted assassinations, you know, based on what people are thinking and so on. I mean, why would you want to do that? If this is illegal stuff. Yes, wow. absolutely. And you know, they're covering it through a very careful series of actions. First, they put people under surveillance, right? And then they say, oh, people who are under surveillance, who are suspected terrorists or spies, we can experiment on them because the CIA has been permitted to experiment on them. And the, there are executive orders, there are national defense directives, and uh, there are CIA manuals that say the US military and the CIA can indeed detain citizens indefinitely and use anybody under surveillance for experimentation. This is legal. This is absolutely legal. So therefore, now we are going to take these people and put them in our weapons testing programs coming out of the very many Air Force bases around the country. We are going to use them in directed energy weapons testing to test biobehavioral research human effects on their bodies. These are terminal programs. We're going to use very small amounts, very small dosages of radiation. We're going to do this continuously 24-7 for the rest of their lives and we're going to determine how the human body reacts this is called weapons testing non-lethal weapons testing and we can do it because it is legal quote unquote and then we are also going to sell them into non-consensual experimentation projects such as nk ultra extended neuro experimentation projects darpa neuro experimentation projects cybernetics and artificial intelligence engineering projects where we want to reverse engineer the human brain. We want to figure out how the human brain works, neural mapping, uh, neural linguistic programming, you know, uh, pump human brain brains with neurotext so that, you know, we are going to be sending voices into your head. We're going to be sending images into your head. We're going to send you synthetic dreams. We're going to send you synthetic directives and instructions. We're going to work on radio hypnosis so that we can totally um, control you. We can. We are going to use uh, figure out what biorobotizing is all about, so we can hit your motor cortex and take it over. We can hit your sensory cortex and take it over. All of this, 
All of this is now legal because we've set up the documentation, we've set up the laws, the so-called laws and regulations permitting us to use you because you are now under surveillance. So in the name of the war on terror, these weapons are being used on us. And these are the weapons, these are the bullet points. There are directed energy and microwave weapons. There are infrasonic and ultrasonic weapons, military radar weapons and military tracking weapons, neuro weapons of various kinds, and infections with um, nanotechnology. And this is a direct connection with the chemtrails, the aerosols, and the nanobots raining down on us. and you know, literally inside all of our bodies. And that's probably, you know, the entire population of the planet.